Hey everybody, Pat Mercedes here, and I know it's um, been a few days before we've uh, come back and shared any lives. To be honest with you, I it took me a few days to get over the well, the anger and righteous anger. And uh, for those of you that uh, get upset about my anger, you you got a problem, and here's your problem. Uh, your problem is you're not angry. And that's the problem. You're not angry. You're not angry enough. Matter of fact, anger is not a sin. I got inboxes from people telling me that anger is sin. No, it's not. Jesus was angry. Ever turned the tables in the temple. The Bible says, be angry and sin not. There is a thing is called righteous indignation. So please, 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 do yourself a favor. And I say this with as much love and compassion as I can. Biblically ignorant people ought to shut their mouths. And do goody, you know, tiptoe through the tulip, tied up a people. Uh, honestly, it's not working. And and so please stop that. And uh, by the way, I want to say this about Lana Murphy. Your apology was lukewarm, pathetic, useless, dribble, and you didn't mean a damn word of it. And here's why. Lana Murphy in her apology, because she said it hurt some people of faith, actually hurt a lot of people of faith. But your contempt... And what really uh, put you in your own, you, you hung yourself on your own noose, Lana, you incompetent, weak journalist who gets away with dropping F-bombs, then gets away with insulting uh, 40, 50% or if not 60, 70% of the community. You said, this is what you said, Lana. This is what you said. You said it wasn't the time and place for you to show your opinion. So... You actually admitted that that placard you held was your opinion. So you're not sorry. And Channel 9's not sorry. And what bugs me, here's what bugs me. Mr. Costello, your brother's a minister. Where the heck are you? Where the heck are you? You're silent as usual and your brother is just as silent. And I don't care that i got friends that, you know, support him. Where's his voice on the matter? Sadly, there wasn't none. What we got was some lake, Luke, lame, lukewarm, carefully crafted, weak, weaker than, than, than Kool-Aid, I've got to say, or cordial response. But that's all you can expect from this culture. But what surprises me is still, is still the silence of the church. But enough of that. I want to get on to some other things. Firstly, We've been saying for a couple of years that the government wants your kids. Now, let me tell you where they're doing that. Number one, they're doing that through Hollywood. Number two, they're doing it through the education system. Number, uh, number three, they're doing it through all kinds of books, material that is out there. Hollywood's doing it. Disney's doing it. Government's doing it. But the Victorian government, and believe you me, the Queensland and these other governments aren't far behind. You, do you realise that your child as a minor at school cannot, cannot take a Panadol without parental permission? But right now, dictator communist Dan, dictator communist Dan and the, the Victorian government has asserted that children who are gender confused, gender confused, need, can talk to a government appointed official about their gender confusion and go through gender transformation without parents' consent. Why are parents so silent? Your kid needs permission from you to go to a, a camp or a, or a retreat or a day out, but doesn't need permission from you to get gender reconstruction or 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 gender uh, gender realignment, what is this? And again, I want to ask the question: Where is the church? Let me tell you what Jesus said. I'm going to give you exactly what Jesus said, and I know I've got a lot of people out there, the believers and non-believers. Let me tell you what Jesus said about those of you that cause children to stumble. Are you ready for it? It better that you put a milestone around your neck and you drown yourself. Now, if you don't like those harsh words of Jesus, go to the Kumbaya crowd, the woke crowd, 
No, I'll explain it away. But let me let me give you a very strong warning. Jesus said, you cause children to stumble. It better for you to put a millstone around your neck and you drown. The sad part, so oh, sorry, pop my pop my glasses off. Spoke so well, pop my glasses off, folks. The sad part is, is that our children are drowning in a sea of indoctrination on every single level, from the government to Hollywood to Disney to the education system. And now, of course, we've got Saint Greta out there pushing her her uh, climate change agenda. And let me tell you something about that whole climate change thing. I'm not bowing to that religious system. This is the new religion. They've got their patron, Saint Greta. They've got their Pope up there in Klaus Schwab. And they've got their entire indoctrination laid out. And what's suffering is the economics of our nation. Now, here's one of the things that just came out. Our Prime Minister, Airborne Albo, who occasionally visits our country, has promised millions of dollars to the Ukraine, a hundred million dollars to the Ukraine. Yet to the Australian people, a thousand bucks. And you're telling me this guy isn't capitulating, pandering to the globalist agenda? Let me remind you of who he's met in the last few weeks. Jacinta Ardern, the biggest dribbler of all time. How this woman gets away with a dribble that she that she spouses out of her mouth that supposedly sounds that sounds supposedly intelligent. This woman who who put on her you know Muslim garb and everything else when there was a shooting in New Zealand. I wonder why she doesn't go to church on Sunday and pray for the hundred Christians that are that that are slaughtered nearly every week in Nigeria. I guess it's the wrong religion, right? I guess. And by the way, with my respects to the Muslim community, who I believe are strong people with some strong values, by the way, and I'll I'll, I'll leave that alone. But the government wants to control your kids. Albo is out there and he's saying to basically 100 million for the Ukraine, a war that we don't even know anything really about. And then he says, listen to this. I mean, Putin must be shaking in his boots. He must be shaking. I, I think old Putin out there must be playing the old Skyhook song, Jukebox in Siberia. Albo says that when he gets to this conference where he's going to, he's going to treat Putin with the contempt he deserves. I guess it's kind of like the way Trudeau treated you when he couldn't remember your name. Albo. You are not a pimple on a pumpkin on the global agenda. You think you are, but you're Nigel Nobody. And you think a superpower like Russia is going to get all upset. A guy like Putin is worried about you, concerned about you. You that say that petrol prices and everything else are on the rise because of the war in Ukraine. Petrol in this country per barrel is at its lowest from what I understand since I think it was 1998, correct me if I'm wrong. By the way, same thing with climate change. Hottest time ever, hasn't been superseded, was 1998. So all of a sudden, Albo is out there beating his chest, he's going to tell Putin, going to treat Putin with a contempt and he's going to send $100 million to the Ukraine. And there's nothing about what's happening with climate change. Has put our country in economic disaster because of his policies that he's dripping out. By the way, he's not even around to figure out what the policies are and what these, these, these um, front and back benches are pushing. And he's saying that he's going to treat Putin with contempt. Do yourself a favour. Shut up while you're ahead. You're making a fool of yourself just like Kevin Dudd did. Matter of fact, you're cut from the same mould because you were one of his ministers. Now back to Dictator Dan. Dictator Dan that the st- says the state's so broke, they're going to sell off the roads. Any Chinese involvement with those, Dan? Any Chinese involvement in the buyers? Or are you going to do just like Biden did? Check this out. American fuel prices are at their highest ever. And sleepy Joe Biden has sold 
somewhere near a hundred million dollars, barrels of their own, reserve fuel, the country's reserve, to China. Remember China and Joe's son? Remember the videos that are out there of your son with, with underage Chinese children? God help us all. The world has gone mad. The world has gone mad. And they are all on the same language. All on the same language. One of the spokesmen for the government of Joe Biden says, this is part of the new liberal progressive world order. That's what Albanese is involved in. That's what Dan Armstrong, Dan Armstrong, Dan Andrews is involved in. And let me just say this. The masks are coming back. Good old Palaszczuk, wouldn't you know it? She says, for only a recommendation, only till August. We've been around this before. We've been around this before. As I've said constantly, demonic spirits, demonic entities, and that's all they are, folks. These spirits, and I know some of you don't like that idea and don't like that term, these ideologies are evil. I'm going to call them exactly what they are. They are evil ideologies, just as evil as communism. Matter of fact, our nation and most Western nations, including the United States, are heading towards total totalitarian control. Netherlands is at, a, is, is at there right now. Macron is taking his country there. Trudeau's got his country there. Jacinta, heaven help us, although I'm not too sure she's going to last long. Albo has surrounded himself with so many far left wing people. You'd think we're just a bunch of Molly Dukas at the moment. It's gone mad. Now, today I thought I'd talk a little bit more calmer so I wouldn't raise my blood pressure and give myself a fever like I did the other day. But let me tell you, nothing has changed. Boris Johnson has resigned from the Conservative Party. Let's see who the WEF want to place or replace. And don't tell me he's a Conservative. So was Morrison. So was Scott Morrison. And look at the mess this guy got us into. But what has stirred my heart today is the fact that they're using language. Listen to the language that a child in Victoria has to, is, can be a mature minor. That's an oxymoron. Again, let me tell you, James Morrison has written a brilliant piece on this. It's an oxymoron. It's an oxymoron. And, 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 and again, with all due respect, those you put on, oh, they're all Freemasons. Shut up and stop putting stuff up there that you don't have absolute proven fact on. Just don't put this stuff up on my Facebook. Don't do it. Don't do that stuff on here. Deal with facts, not theories, not something you read on some weird site somewhere on Rumble. Please don't do that because it'll be taken off the media as this broadcast is finished. We've got to deal with facts, folks. I'll tell you what they are under. They are under an antichrist spirit, a lawlessness that wants to get rid of everything. And the next thing they're coming for, and to all my preacher friends, let me just let you know this. They're coming for your Bibles. It's the one book, it's the one book that still holds truth in it. And I am not here to be anybody's moral compass. I'm here to be your guide. For the last three years, we have warned and we've told and we've spoken. And what I, I, I appreciate is some of the voices, some of the real freedom fighters in this country. People, you know, people like the Joel Jamals and people like the Monica Smiths and people like the George Christiansons, the Malcolm Roberts and the Pauline Hansons and, and, and the Craig Kellys and some of these great people that stand up more for, for, for conservative values than, than 90% of the pulpits in, in, in our country. And it's a sad day when this is going on and we are still silent. We are still silent. How on earth 
is Dan Andrews getting away with this where parents do not have control. I'm going to encourage every one of you, write to the Victorian government, write to them and tell them how you feel. Tell them how you feel. When a child needs permission to go to a retreat, an excursion, to take a Panadol, but not gender redirection, they can do that with the counsel of someone in government. That's exactly what the pharaohs wanted in the past and exactly what they want in the future. And we need to protect our kids. We've been saying this for the last three years. And I know it might sound like a broken record, but that's what this is all about. You see, they start indoctrinating our kids while they're young. And by the time they're in their 20s and 30s, or by the time they're in their teens, they're well indoctrinated. Anyway, this Sunday, we've got a powerful message coming up on Reborn. And um, I want to encourage you all to be part of that at 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Please tune into that. Going to bring an encouraging word, some oxygen to our soul. Again, I want to encourage you to keep keep writing to Channel 9. That was such a lame, duck response from Lana Murphy. It wasn't even worth the paper it was written on. I want to encourage you to write to these premiers like Dictator Dan. And then I want to encourage you to vote these people out. Hit them where it hurts in the area of your votes. And um, anyway, I hope this makes sense, but just the crazy stuff going out there. Fancy Biden selling their reserves to the Chinese government. Makes you wonder how much, Hunter, you figure out the rest, folks. You figure out the rest. These things are just not happening by chance. God bless you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the rant. And just remember what Jesus said. You make these little children stumble. You'd have been better off to put a milestone around your neck and drown yourself. That's what Jesus said. Don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you what he said. And somehow, I think he was right. God bless you, everybody.